I would like to warn you, dear friends, of what had happened to Serbia, a precedent that is being used and abused in different parts of the world, to warn you of the Pandora's box that was opened neither two nor five years ago, but much before, and that everybody is so loudly silent about. The absolute dominance of the Western capitalist way of manufacturing its science and technology supremacy, convincing victory against the Eastern contenders, Soviet Union first of all, within the framework of the Third Industrial Revolution, brought the world, some would say, to the end of history and complete hegemony of the Western ideas in all spheres of social life. Apart from, of course, good things it had brought to the mankind, such a dominance of non-existence of balance and political multilateralism destroyed, at the same time, Soviet Union and Yugoslavia. Of course, it did not happen by accident. By all means, it did not happen by itself. But it was helped by the decisive involvement of the Western intelligence services, which were supported by the national corrupted elite, both in the Soviet Union and in Yugoslavia. Why am I mentioning all this? Because even today we heard from many that by attacking Ukraine, Pandora's box was opened. The undermining of international law took place, that it was the precedent not witnessed by Europe since the World War II. This is the utter untruth. Just to make things clear, Serbia supports the UN Charter, territorial integrity of Ukraine, and we did not question it for a moment nor shall we. However, when the big leaders speak vigorously and ardently here about the need for Ukrainian freedom, about the observance of the UN and its charter resolutions, I ask myself why don't they observe the UN Charter and Resolution 1244 when it comes to the territorial integrity of Serbia, which in the strike of their own power in moments when they thought that they would violate the norms of international law the way they wanted to the extent they wanted and so long as they wanted, because they had finally won against all the opponents, so it was possible for them to spill the rage upon one small nation and to relentlessly rush towards violation of all norms and regulations, not even trying to provide some explanations. That is why in 1999, here at the United Nations, they had tried to pass the decision on the attack and aggression against Serbia. And since the consent had not been reached, they had nevertheless taken the decision to attack, to bomb Serbia and commit aggression, because at that time they couldn't care less about the UN Charter, its resolutions and international law. They were uncontested power. They did not ask anyone about anything, and they thought it would go on like that for hundreds of years. It was by accident that we, citizens of Serbia, were the ones who paid a high price. It could have been anybody else.